Hello and welcome to MTB Cooking Comfort Food on YouTube. Today we'll show you how to make these fish cakes. They're made Danish style. It couldn't be more Nordic Scandinavian cuisine. First of all, we take some cod filet and we'll just roughly chop it up in our blender. It does not have to be completely homogeneous, it just needs to be mixed. So after that, we'll put this fish filet into a bowl and to it we'll add some salt. It is essential to add the salt at this stage because later on it'll be easier for the mixture to contain the liquid when, uh, when the salt is there because it'll draw the liquid to it. We do at the side um, shred a carrot and a potato and we press, uh, press these, squeeze these from liquids in order for them to be completely solid. Uh, this will only make the um, fish cakes more juicy. We can now to our fish add uh, sorry, eggs and flour as well as some whole fat cream. It's um, essential that the cream is uh, full fat. We mix this, we've uh, just retained a bit of the flour, uh, cream, sorry, and we'll add that in right there because uh, we do want to do that in um, not uh, to overthrow uh, ingredients into it. There we just added the carrot and potato that will give this delicious consistency to the fish cakes. We add in some chopped dill because it's an essential ingredient in the Scandinavian cuisine. And after that we can pepper the mixture. In a pan, we have melted butter and we've added a little bit of neutral tasting canola oil in order for us to be able to um, elevate the temperature on the pan a little bit more. Then we will just form the fish cakes using our hand and a spoon and we'll toss these fish cakes onto the pan, let them cook until they're uh, very nice and uh, crispy and golden brown on the one side. And then after that, we can turn them over and fry them for the same amount of time on the other side in order for them to obtain this crust uh, of, of golden deliciousness. As you can see, we do have plenty of fat on the pan. It is not to worry about because it's not like the fish cakes do obtain all of the fat, but it is better than having too little fat on the pan. It'll make them go dry, these fish cakes. As you can see, we turn them over now when they have this very beautiful crust. And it is important because uh, that'll also let them um, keep their shape a little better when you, uh, when you place them somewhere afterwards. When they have this crust, they will be more solid and can easily be stored and won't be too vulnerable. Here we can serve up our delicious fish cakes. We really couldn't help ourselves from taking a bite of one here before really serving them. Oh my goodness, they were really, really good. What we do here on the other side, or now on the serving side, is we butter up a piece of rye bread, which is a piece of delicious bread that is, again, very common in Scandinavia, especially in Denmark, where we are from. We place our fish cakes on the pieces of bread, and afterwards we toss on this delicious sauce that is made with uh, creme fraiche, also known as sour cream, red onions, some lumpfish roe, and a little bit of dill, salt and pepper, that's all. So for the ingredients for this recipe, you find them in the box below the video. Please do not hesitate to commentate uh, or to give this video a thumbs up. Follow our channel here on YouTube, please find us on Instagram, and we hope to see you in our next video for another comfort food meal.